Hey everybody, uh, this is video number three of three. So if you've not seen the other two, maybe go and check those out. But I'm essentially going through a whole bunch of boxes of PC games that were given to me um, for nothing, but um, I'm pretty sure there's no value in them anyway. Um, and the thing that I'm thinking about is, do I build an old XP um, Windows 2000, you know, the 2000 era PC uh, to run some of this stuff because obviously modern PCs don't have CD-ROMs in them unless you buy an external one. Modern operating systems won't run the kind of games these come, you know, these spec of these games. Um, yes, you can emulate them. Yes, there's a whole bunch of ways of doing it, but these are the original CD-ROMs, and it's whether it's worth it or not. I'd love to know if you do this, you know, running an old gaming laptop or an old gaming PC that you might have built, um, and yeah, some some thoughts on them, whether you do this or not. Um, so I've run through two other boxes. This is the last box. I'll run through it and then yeah, see if there's any gems in there. There is some trash. <laughs> so just so we want. We'll start off with Scrabble. Not before what we said. We're then gonna grab Star Wars Battlefront, which is an absolute classic. So yeah. And as you can see on the back, when I look at sort of requirements you've got Windows 98 SE, 2000, 256 megs of RAM, a Pentium 3. It's uh yeah, this is some this is some old school um PCs. Uh we then got NASCAR Racing 3. Uh we've got Star Wars Starfighter. Cool. So yeah, as you would expect, a well, a space battle game. Oh look, there's a piece of paper in here. Someone's left. Someone's left a. I don't know if that's going to be a cheat code or a, an access code, something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's always nice to find bits of paper in there where, where someone's written down something they needed. Uh, theme park, absolute classic. Um, love theme park. I pumped many, many, many hours into this as a kid, building the most interesting theme parks. I find the latest, the later ones, there's too much in them. I just want the simpleness of building and running a theme park. I think some of them now go so far into the simulation. Uh, it's like work. So, uh, theme park's a great game. Uh, oh, I don't think this is a game. This isn't a video. This isn't a game. But this is someone who uh, had attack force the Harrier, and it's just a video by the looks of it. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds Saga. So. Good theme in these boxes so far. It's been flight simulators, Star Wars games, and a few other bits, but this is an RTS of Star Wars, so that looks pretty cool. And it looks like there's two games in there, all in one. Oh, that's handy. In a previous video, I pulled out my favorite game on the PC for a long, long time, and it was Freelancer. And there's the manual for it, but it is now complete in box. Ooh. Andy. Triple Pursuit. Enough said. Uh, Blazing Angels. This is a great game. Um, I've played this on, I think it re released on the Wii um, and a few other things. But this is actually a really good arcade, but from, you know, from behind. I'll see if it's over there. But uh, it's really cool. I really enjoy playing this game. This is definitely another one that I would stick on there. And. Yeah, you know, use an old joystick with and stuff. The Sims on holiday. Uh, <laughs> the Sims. Not gonna talk about those much. Uh, uh, the Conflict Collection. So Desert Storm, Desert Storm through two, uh, Conflict Vietnam and Conflict Global Storm. But there we go. I don't know too much about these ones for sure. Yeah. There we go. Um, Monopoly. World in Conflict. I do remember this game. It was also another good game. Uh, Falcon 4.0 Allied Forces. So a proper flight simulator there. So yeah, whoever maybe these belong to before did did quite like um, Flight Simulation, uh, but also The Sims, it feels, because there's been a few Sims games in there. Uh, Silent Hunter. There we go. Submarines. Pretty cool. 
IL2 Stumovkov. Stum I can't I can't say that. Stum Stumovic. Uh that's cool. Oh, it's just started to rain outside. So me having the door open. If there's any background noise, I'm apologizing for that. Um, but it is just about to start to rain. Uh Praetorians, this looks cool. I definitely want to try this. So a bit like the Total War games, maybe. An RTS of Rome. I'd definitely like to give that a try. Again, uh, you know, you're looking at a P3 700 or equivalent. A P3 it's recommending a P3 800 or greater. A Pentium 3. Ooh. Midtown Madness. Uh, Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator. There we go. Again, lots of war games, lots of flight simulator games. Uh, uh, Silent Hunter, Wolves of the Pacific. But again, a bit of everything in that. It looks like ship battles, air battles. And the last one. Is it any good? Comanche 4. Man, this person really likes the... <laughs> war games like, that's it that's the three boxes so if you got this far i really appreciate you watching all three videos if you have if you're not going to check out the other ones the different stuff all in them um but again leave your comments in one of those videos around if you do this if you're running any old retro video games on pc um you know what do you do to do it uh, if you're using the original cd-roms um, are you just emulating it in that in it's like like the DOS box, DOS box type solution, or are you running an old PC with a you know, P4 two gigahertz and you know or, or in a way I kind of want to build it because I love the idea of managing to find an old Voodoo card or or 3D FX card or something like that. So uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching the video. Maybe give it a like uh, if you liked it and consider subscribing. Um, today is Monday, so there will be tonight an episode of Monday Night Retro. There is one every Monday. You can look back at the other videos and see me playing old video games. Um, last week it was uh, Super Castlevania. Tonight I'm going to be looking at, I think, the Dreamcast. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, that doesn't age well if you watch this well into the future. But hopefully there's more episodes of Monday Night Retro and more stuff coming out. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll stop rabbiting on and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.